Hey guys, it's CSPN 001. We're looking into part 13 of Let's Play Freedom Fighters. Last time we completed Area 6. This time we're going to start Area 7. So now, I don't think you actually have to take out the high school first. But I don't see why you wouldn't take it out first. Because it has a helipad and a bunch of prisoners you can rescue for more charisma. So really, I don't know why you wouldn't attack this area first. I feel like you wouldn't even be able to complete the TV station without completing this area. Because there's a helipad here, as I said before. Okay, so. Time to start the level. This level, it is now snowing. Now, actually, what you want to do, instead of taking the main path, is... You can actually climb up... Excuse me. Climb up this. Thank you, Chris. That took long enough. Climb up this thing. And go in through this window. Pretty well hidden little area. I don't think there are any civilians in here. Last I checked. Because I just played through this mission on that second highest difficulty a few days ago, so... Because I completed this area on that difficulty with very few problems, actually. Right. So let's grab four freedom fighters here. So now we've got four fighters in our army. Go. Team, go kill. <laughs> go kill, maim, rape, destroy. Do whatever means the exact same thing. Good job distracting him, guys. You can come with me now. Good. Well done. Well done. Oh, well, one of you died. Well, I'll revive him on the way out. I think I, I think he deserves to be revived, because he, he was a trooper, man. They they pulled a Soviet Union-style move from the World War II, just rushing right in there and absolutely de helping out and destroying them. Well done, guys. Oh, what the... What just happened? Please tell me you're... Okay, good. He's a friendly. For a second, I thought he was an enemy. Give me a report. Okay, guys, come on. Can't do everything here. I don't want to have to use too many more health kits than you because I don't want to be embarrassed. Then again, these guys have more health than I do, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the Freedom Fighters have a lot more health than I do. Here. Don't worry, we'll go revive that guy in a minute. We just I just wanna clear out the enemies first, and then he'll be easy to revive. Now for whatever reason, there's actually a rocket launcher over here. I never really understood the purpose of this one. Okay, dude. You're such a jerk camping out up there. Yeah, I never really understood the purpose of this rocket launcher. I mean, you only get two shots for it, and there aren't even any juggernauts until later in the level, so I'm not really sure what the purpose of that one is. Maybe it's just here for fun or something. But yeah, I never really got the purpose of that rocket launcher. It's just sort of here randomly. Okay, we're going to destroy the helipad now. This will get us some more charisma. It's gone, baby. 25 more charisma. So, yeah. Okay, so he's down in the middle of the field back there. Okay, I'm going to go get him. Oh, there's ammo here. I didn't even see that. Yeah, the small green boxes give you ammo. The big ones give you grenades and stuff. I'm going to pick up these health kits. I definitely want to go save him. He deserves to be saved, and... You know, sometimes I use a health kits when I probably don't need to, but, you know, I don't really care. I mean, I just don't want to take any risks, you know. Try not to die that much, because I did die quite a few times in some of the earlier levels than I was kind of hoping for. Yeah, this thing just... Where'd you go down at? Oh, well, I'll revive you, because I feel like being generous today. And I feel like not being outclassed by my Freedom Fighters again, preferably. Preferably. Now, it's probably not going to end up happening. Where's the enemy at? Where's he at? Bring it on. Cover is your best friend in these last few areas. Ah, there you are. Come on.
come on. So yeah, this gun does have some recoil and stuff when you're shooting down the site. Wow, we actually, I think we took him out. Good job, guys. Okay, we're gonna jump up in this building real quick. I don't think there's much in here. I think there's just some stuff on the roof that we can grab. Yeah, this one doesn't have anything special. It's just a roof that you can climb up to, unfortunately. Okay, so there's a health kit and a rocket launcher up here. That's it. Well, I guess you could use the rocket launcher to take out those guys on that balcony over there. Okay, that was totally pointless. Anything else I can fire this at? Sure, why not? Just fire it for fun, I guess. Okay. Is there anything even down there? Yeah, I constantly confuse health kits and stuff for, like, bricks, but that was actually ammo, really? Okay, that was good. Since we took those guys out up there, you would normally get attacked, but we should be okay this time, yep. That would have been helpful on the harder difficulty. Come with me. Let's go. Let's grab the health kit. So now we got six fighters with us and a sewer to open. Let's do it. We're going to do this as a quick save. There's quite a, this level itself, this actual sub area has a lot of manholes on it, surprisingly. And I mean a lot. Like, there's like five, four or five. So that's really good for saving purposes. So you'll never really have to go back more than two or three minutes, really. Unless you die in, like, the last room of the school, which would be quite embarrassing, and I've actually never done that before. Okay, so, now that we've done that, let's guide our new squad of six fighters right through here. Crap, did they actually go back? Okay. If you're still up there, you little jerk. Did I actually get that in there? Wow, that was a really good throw. Holy crap! Holy crap! Huh. Uh, uh, I don't even... I'm, I, I could use a new pair of underwear now, guys. Holy crap, that scared me, if you couldn't tell. I forgot about him. I completely forgot about that rocket launcher. He wasn't even close to me on the hard, harder difficulty. Like, he didn't even come close to hitting me. I don't even think he got a shot off. Holy crap. You trying to give me a heart attack game? Oh my god. Get over here. I was born ready. Don't worry. We'll get enough charisma to level up again in just a second from rescuing the prisoners. And once again, I'm making a quick save. You guys can call me a wimp for it. I don't care. I'm doing it totally for safety because I don't want to have to repeat too much of any level if I do end up dying. I would hope I don't die too much in this area, maybe once at most, once or twice, but you never really know. It's Let's Playing. Anything can happen. And it's generally something that you don't want to happen is what happens. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what you want to do is run up through here. Actually, no, we don't need to do that yet. Uh, what we want to do, actually, is just sort of crouch and try to sneak around. And we can get a little jump on these guys. And look at our squad. We are epic. There's seven of us now. Tell them all to go right there. Suicide! Come on, guys. Do your job. Do your job. Get a few of them to defend right there, just for safety. Uh, there's a bunch of health kits in here, and you can plant C4. We're going to need to do this to take out the, uh, to get the prisoners out of here, because if you don't do this, the prison, you'll get, like, hurt as soon as you try to open up the gate here. Okay, guys, you can all retreat now. Power generator destroyed. Let's open up the gate. Hey, mister, get us out of here. We're getting you. So a whopping five prisoners here. We definitely, you definitely want to try to get these guys to safety. Take them out. You know, I've never actually had, like, a prisoner die. I've had, obviously, freedom fighters die all the time. But I've never actually had prisoners die. Maybe they can't, or maybe I'm just good at protecting them. I don't know. I don't really know. 
now I got a massive team of people coming back here, and we should be able to recruit another fighter once these guys go down the manhole. Yeah! Another level of charisma. Very nice. You get to come too now. So now I got eight people following us. You can get to level... I think, from what I saw, I missed a civilian somewhere. Because when I was watching the sort of video of exactly how to do the Governor's Island mission, the one where we assassinated Tatarin, uh, that one, when I looked it up, the guy had a little more charisma than I did, so I'm assuming he found another civilian or two that I missed. But I think I'm doing pretty well on in terms of doing all that stuff. Like, on my very first playthrough of the game, I think I ended up with 11 charisma by the end of the final mission of the game. Which isn't bad, but generally I end up with 12 going into that mission nowadays. I just gotten better at the game, because I've beaten it like seven or eight times now. Okay, we want all these guys to come in here and defend. I expect some somewhat heavy casualties here. Alright guys, defend! 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 Switch over to the pistol. The armored guy coming out yet? This is where one of the armored guys will come out. Go guys, go! Yep, here comes the there's the armored guy. You could potentially sneak around to the right side of the building and maybe make this a little bit easier. So I don't think I'd do that quite the, the smartest way I could. So yeah, I don't think I'd quite do that part of the level the best way possible because there is a secret path over there that you can take. Where maybe you could get like the jump on the armored guy and all, but really, it's not that big a deal. I mean, seriously, it's not really that big a deal. We're just fine. Man, he, it looks so epic when you get all 12 fighters with you. I'll have to, like, take a screenshot of it. Or, technically, just, like, a picture off my iPhone or something whenever we get to that point. I think I've only used two health kits on my Freedom Fighters this level, which is really good, actually. When did I pick up ammo? Oh, I must, must have been when I ran over the armor guy. Okay. You guys all go down there and defend, okay? Do it! Rush in, my brothers! And sisters! And bisexuals! You must all help me fight and win this... I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I stopped making sense like three years ago, okay, guys? Dang, three of them went down? Really? Usually don't have that many of them go down. I'm not going to heal that many of them. I'll get these two Soviets to come with us. Thank you. Just so we can make them kill their own kind. I'm just not going to rescue those guys. I don't really want to spend the time on it. Wow, we're going to make pretty good time on this mission, actually. We're close to the end. This is right at the end of the mission. Dead. Here. Do it. Yeah, this area there's gonna be another armored guy. Okay, you guys can move up to there now. I mean, I always hold down circle so all my fighters go to the same area. They will rip these armored guys up really fast with a lot of people, but we actually ripped him up really fast. Faster than I sort of expected him to. And we're clear, guys. This is the end of the mission. So, let's jump on out here. Watch as a Soviet guy runs in here cluelessly, unable to do anything to stop us from hoisting the flag of victory. First time in a couple areas we've hoisted a flag. Ha, ah, they still killed it. They're going to kill him anyway. Yeah, guys, you killed him anyway. Good job. Level complete. So my Freedom Fighters did much more work on this level. Fired a lot more bullets. Like, over four times as many bullets. Jeez.
They must not have very good accuracy, and almost twice as many kills, but same number of health kits, same time. So, let's head on back to the Rebel base and resupply a little bit before we head off to the next level. It's the final sub-area before the final area. So naturally, it's not that easy. There's like three or four civilians, I believe, on this mission that we can heal, so you definitely want to have health kits. I think it's only three, actually, now that I think about it. This level's kind of annoying, though, because there aren't very many save points. There's only, like, two. My PS2 hasn't sounded like it was going to explode yet today, which is a good thing, I guess. So, guys, next time... We will stop the Soviet propaganda by taking over SAFN Studios. See you guys then!